Did you by chance happen to come across the thumbnail and my reaction? Of course you did, or you wouldn't have clicked on it. Oh, <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the studio. It has been a while since we've covered audio tech and I'm so happy to get back into it. This is the new Edifier WH950NB and it is high res certified wireless LDAC with all the bells and whistles and it'll compete against the Bose oh. and the Sonys. Without wasting any more of your time, allow me to show you why. Included in your edifier box is going to be this little manual. And when I say little, if you don't have the best vision, you know, I mean, come on, edifier, we need a little bit larger font. Also included is your USB-A to a USB-C charging cable, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable and I love the fact that they made one of the ends an elbow design. I mean that is attention to detail. They even kick in an airplane modular adapter. Mucho gracias edifier. Mm -hmm. And we cannot forget to mention this extremely nice included case. Got a little hard <laughs> shell on the outside along with some fabric and nicely flushed zipped in the liner along with the gold edifier label on the front. Always great to have a case for your equipment. I also like the fact that they gave you this fleece separator that you can actually unvelcro and move it around the case how you see fit. Pretty sweet. Also, a nice little pouch that velcros as well, which keeps your stuff from falling out when you open the lid, but you'll be able to tuck your cables and accessories on the other side. So very nicely made and always a welcome accessory. And then we have the new Edifier WH950NBs that fold out. These feel extremely premium in the hands. And that's where I say that these are going to compete against your Bose and your Sony premium headphones because these are made very well. From the metal band on the top with the plush headband all the way down to your memory foam. And I do say memory foam because you can see how long it takes to come back to life. Feel wonderful on the head. We're gonna show you that in just a second. And when I mention detail, you can clearly see that they have put a lot of effort into their headphones, even with this leathery look on the cups on each side down to the gold plated microphones on each cup as well and their foiled gold emblem on each side of the headband. Also dig the fact that they have a right and left. I used to make fun of that in the very, very beginning. If some of you have seen some of my older reviews, I always said, what do you need a right and left for? You should know. But believe me, it does help, especially as you get older in life and forgetful it'll definitely let you know which side to put these on. On the right side of the cup, you're gonna have your volume rocker up and down and your power button, along with the play, pause, forward attract, reverse attract, 
and so on. Just under that, you're gonna have a mode button. We're gonna cover that in just a second. You have a lot of modes on this along with an app. Pretty sweet. Then you'll have your USB-C charging port along with some more microphones. And on the left cup, you'll have your three and a half millimeter input jack. On the top, you're gonna to get these mic sensors on each side that's going to be used for all the modes of your ANC. Again, we're gonna cover that real soon. But first, let's see how they fit. Guys, let me tell you, right away, they feel nice. They're extremely light on the head, and I think that is very important when you're wearing a pair of headphones versus a pair of earbuds because it's a lot more we're dealing with on the Mela. Definitely nice to be able to wear it for long periods of time, which is also a good thing on the hours on this. Another nice feature is to be able to drop it down on your neck and have them fold out of the way. You don't want to be strangled to death by your equipment. All right, let's cover all the specs that these come equipped with next. You're getting 40 millimeter dynamic big drivers inside this along with the LDAC high res certified seal of approval, ladies and gentlemen, built in. In the noise canceling ANC department, you're gonna get four different sound modes. And we'll go over that when we talk about the Edifier Connect app that comes with it as well. You're also getting the advanced four mic ENC built in for crystal clear call quality that we're gonna be testing also later in the review. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this, for sure. You're gonna love it. As far as the battery goes on this, you're gonna get one and a half hours of full charge. That's all it's gonna to take to fully charge these, giving you 34 hours of playtime with ANC on, or if you choose to turn it off, you're gonna get 55 hours. That's plenty. And like I said earlier, it's nice to have a light pair of headphones for your excessively long wearing needs. Oh, and get this, that's not the best part of all when it comes to battery. This is incredible, okay? It also comes with fast charge. So you'd think 55 hours or 34 hours is plenty, right? You're not usually gonna run out. But if you do, a 10 minute fast charge will give you, are you ready for this? Seven hours, yeah. 10 minutes gives you seven hours on the fly. That's incredible. Who are these people? FYI, for all you Android users, you're going to get the Google Fast Pairing with these as well. Also coming with multiple point connection. For those of you that don't know what that means, it's simple. You can connect it to more than one device at one time. And another feature that they're kicking in is called the safe hearing that won't exceed over 85 decibels. So for those with fragile ears, you guys might wanna enable that. As for the headbangers, no chance. Lastly, you're going to get the latest and greatest Bluetooth 5.3 along with gaming mode. So yes, all you gaming nerds out there are gonna have your very own button. Either get on the App Store or the Google Play and download the Edifier Connect app. And let me show you all the fun features you get to play with. All right, guys, go ahead and click on the Edifier Connect. It should connect to your headphones right off the bat. Let's see, yep. Clicking on it, boom, there we go. We're good to go. Looks like we have a battery of 100% and a safe volume. Now, just under that, you guys are gonna see you have the four different hearing modes that I talked about with the ANC. You have high noise cancellation. I can barely hear my voice. I mean, I can hear what I'm saying, but that just knocks everything out behind us. Then you have low noise. So now it brings in a little bit of the ambient. You have wind reduction. Wind reduction would be great on those long bike rides with the wind hitting you in the face. After that, you have ambient sound. Now I can definitely hear myself talking, brings in the background noise, and then you have it completely off if you don't wanna use it at all. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the ambient sound so I can hear myself talk and I'm not blowing your eardrums off. All right, guys, now you'll see that it has three different pages. Go ahead and swipe over. Now you get three different sound stages. You have classic, you have dynamic, which I find probably the best one out of all of them, unless you have your own personal choice with customized. Now we have a four band EQ that we can adjust and customize to our liking. Always love that in any app supported. 
swiping over to the next page is going to give us three different modes and that's where the M button is going to come into play. You have music mode, game mode for you gamers, and theater mode which is for movies, Netflix, things like that. Click on the gear in the upper right corner and this is going to give us a user manual, control settings, which is very nice. You open this up and now you can adjust how you want the controls to work. It's great. I'm gonna let you guys dive into this. I don't need to go any further as far as explanation. Then you'll have your multi-point connection where you can toggle that on or off. Then just under that, you have safe volume, which we talked about. We can either enable it or disable it. That's where it won't go over the 85 dB. We don't want that. Then you have the shutdown timer. And I'm kind of glad they included this because they didn't, however, include the automatic pausing. When you take your headset off, if you're listening to a song or watching a movie, it'll automatically stop for you. They don't have that. So this is gonna come in handy if you take your headphones off, leave them sitting and forget about them. You can set yourself a timer from never to five minutes all the way up to three hours before it will shut down. And obviously at the very top up here, you'll have your firmware updates. So that is all what's included in your edifier connect app and i love it i think it's great to be able to have these features to be able to get in there tweak them how you guys want to hear it speaking of how we want to hear it let's go ahead and do ourselves a music test next today's carefully chosen song choice is by an awesome platform Artlist. If you're a content creator looking for that next song title, Artlist has a plethora of songs to choose from. Or how about those sound effects that you hear in all my videos? What about that perfect stock footage you've been looking for? Artlist and Artgrid have it all for your creative needs. If you are on the fence about becoming a content creator, just do it. And don't forget to hit my description down below and learn all about the Artlist platform and be sure to get yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription using my code down below. You'll thank me later, I'm telling you. The song is called One Way Love by a favorite artist of mine, TJ Hickey. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, I already love the guitar strums, man. You can cl clearly hear it. Oh, it sounds so good. I said, baby, I'm done. I'm so sick and tired of the way you just run. Say it takes two when you build that trust. I feel alone in the so called love. I said, Shadi, I'm done. Ooh, how can you sit still to a song like this? I love this guy. Now, I'm sure a few of you might want to know if there's any bleeding, so I'll shut up and let you hear. Here we go. All right, let's get back into the song. That sounds good. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. All right. All right, wow. That was fantastic. And the comfort of these being on your head, I just, that's the difference between obviously earbuds opposed to headphones. You just get to be so much more immersed into a song when you have a pair of headphones versus earbuds. It's, it's just inevitable. All right, let's slap them back on the melon and do ourselves a mic test next. Obviously the professional mic, but we don't want to hear that. We'd like to hear how the Edifier WH950NB sound right now. Well, is it sound okay? I'm sure it does. It's a pair of headphones. It's got a lot of mics going on in the system. Of course, the background noise isn't very loud. How about we test an ambient noise of a restaurant like this? Now, how is it working? Is it canceling out that busy background noise? If I was on a phone call right now, this is what it would sound like in the background. Does it sound good? I won't know until I go and post. So I'll go check it out and be right back. All right, well, obviously I have been in post fast forward and I'm gonna have to say that it sounded fantastic. Definitely before the restaurant and even after the restaurant, it really did calm that down for you to be able to hear me. However, I do have to mention there was a clicking sound that I was getting in some feedback. So I'm wondering if that was some kind of interference with the tech that I have around the studio. I don't think you're gonna have any problems with it going forward, but uh, it is something definitely to mention. It happened with me. 
as far as addressing the bleed through when you have these cranked up, there is no ands, ifs, or buts about it. People around you will enjoy whatever you're enjoying if you have them full volume. How about I give you my pros and cons? Pro number one, you've got a pair of headphones that are certified wireless high res with LDAC. So if you're an Android user, you're going to be able to appreciate the LDAC function. However, Apple users are shit out of luck. But it's definitely not a deal breaker by any means. I've tested them on both the Android phone and my Apple phone. And uh, yeah, I've got them still connected to my Apple phone. Another pro that Edifier was able to accomplish is the fact that these are high res with the LDAC and the 40 millimeter drivers for half the price of what you would pay for a Bose or a Sony. How they do it is beyond me. Pro 3 has to go to the 10 minute fast charge that gives you seven hours on the fly. I have yet to see any other companies accomplish that and that to me is a huge pro. And lastly, their app definitely hits the sweet spot. All right, let's cover a few bitches, hence cons. Con number one, no pause when setting the headphones down. I think that's a definite must. I love to have that feature on any pair of headphones or even earbuds for that matter. If you take them out of your ear, they pause. If you take them off your melon, they pause. These do not. Edifier firmware update, pretty please. Con number two, I have to go back to the app and that is no controls on the settings. Meaning you have controls, you can move things around like where you want your mode button, what you want it to engage and things like that. But you cannot adjust how the forward works or reverse a track, how the play pause. They're pretty much set in stone already built into the buttons. And speaking of the controls on the headset, that is my last and final con. I'm not real keen on the black on black. Number one, it's very hard to distinguish if you're looking directly at it, which I get it. Most of the time, you're not gonna be looking while you're feeling for it. So that brings me to the feel. I think they need to be a little more raised. That would be a little easier to find. But hey, at this point, I'm just trying to find some cons to even it out with all the pros. I think it's time to cover the retail of these. This is the most important and best part of the review. Keep in mind, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Edifier, okay? They reach out to me, ask me to do you guys the reviews. I get to give you my honest opinion. It's that simple. However, I will be dropping you down an affiliate link through Amazon, retailing and selling for $179.99. Sorry guys, no coupons, no discounts as of the date of this posting. Hopefully they come up with some sales, but hey, $179.99 versus twice the price for a Bose or a Sony's. It's definitely a no brainer. Guys, get on down there, pick yourselves up a pair. You will definitely be more than happy with this set of headphones. It is time for a fortune cookie reveal. And, ooh, it's already broke, uh-oh. Oh, check it out, guys. This is kind of unique, okay? Today's special word of the fortune cookie is birthday. This happens to be my birth month, February the 24th, if you guys were wondering. And no, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. You are never selfish with your advice or your help. You know, that's very true. I am not selfish when it comes to helping people out. But I am selfish when it comes to me time. If you stuck with me this long in the review, well, obviously you uh, might be a little out there, but hey, we don't judge here at this table. No way. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you are not already, and I'll be seeing you guys real soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Today's Saturday. Maybe tomorrow's Sunday. I got a lot more coming. See you there.